everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Twee thank you so much for clicking on to this video today I have my third episode of my series Twee test if you guys are new to my channel it's basically a series where I test out the latest and the greatest and tell you guys the truth on whether the product is worth it or not my first impressions swatches a wear test all that kind of good stuff I am going to be testing out the new Morphe filter effect soft focus foundation today this foundation has been so highly requested and I honestly I feel like it is the year of complexion products there's so many new foundations that's come out i've got a tom ford one i've got a gucci beauty one there is a Givenchy one that's just come out as well as a maybelline one. Oh my god there's literally so many to test i have heard amazing things about this foundation but we're gonna dive in deep i like to go in we're gonna be doing a wear test today i'm gonna be trying out with a brush with a sponge seeing how it applies doing some swatches for you guys so if you guys want to know the tea on a morphe please keep watching <laughs> The hair's quite 80s, it looks like a mop, it looks like a labradoodle. But we're rocking with it now, I feel like I need to clip the hair out of the way, otherwise you guys are not going to see the foundation. Oh my god, doesn't Shayla look amazing? Look at this skin, yes, I can see the natural glow. I've actually met makeup Shayla in real life, I actually think she looks prettier in real life than in her photos. And her photos look banging. That's just an indication of how good she looks, okay? We have three foundations, a foundation brush, also a velvet sponge. Yes, Morphe sponge is actually really, really good. And if anyone's been watching my channel for a long time, you guys will know that I'm all about the velvet sponge life. I feel like it just gives you so much more coverage. It's really hard to find a good soft velvet sponge. And this one feels really, really soft. First impressions, the packaging is really nice, quite slim. Feels good in the hand, you know what I'm saying? All right. It's got a good bit of girth. Oh, I see where this is going. It has a pump, which is amazing. I told you guys, okay, in 2021, we'd be needing pumps. Period. So this foundation is a medium to full coverage, but it also says that it's natural and buildable. It's long wearing, sweat proof and transfer proof. It also says that it's free from oils, fragrances and parabens and it's a luxe formula created in Italy. Is it just me that thinks that anytime anything is made in Italy, it's like, ooh, she fancy. Ooh, she must be some good quality because it's made in Italy, baby. Yeah. Okay, so let's do some swatches. We're going to try it number 16 first. She's quite a thick one. It's not a runny formula, which is nice. I feel like whenever a formula is a bit thicker, it gives me more coverage. This is a really nice olive undertone. I like that shade. Okay, then we're going to try it number 18. All right, just to show you guys the undertone quickly, it's definitely a bit more peachy. Do you know what, guys? Recently, I feel like there's been so many foundations on the market, and whenever I go on the website, I find it really, really hard to find my foundation shade. Hopefully, videos like this help you guys out when I'm doing swatches like this, especially if you're a similar skin tone to me. This undertone is way too peachy for me. Um, not liking that one. Okay, then we also have Filter Tan 19. These three are so different in shade wise, it's actually crazy. This is shade number 14, which I also got sent. So there is quite a big colour jump with the foundations. I also noticed that the foundation is oxidising a little bit. I don't know if you guys see it. Around here, it's kind of going a bit darker. So we definitely have to be careful of that, especially when picking your foundation shape. You might think you're one foundation colour, and then 20 minutes later, you're another skin colour. Definitely overall, I like the shade number 16. So we're going to be going with that shade today. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. It's legitness. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I used to say that all the time at school now when i say that i'm like oh really showing my age i'm really showing the fact that i'm a boomer with some of my references <laughs> I'll do one side of my face with a sponge and one side with a brush. By the way, guys, this sponge, when I went to go wet it, oh my god, it literally doubled in size. Like, this is so big. It's the biggest sponge I've ever used in my life. They also sent over this brush here. It's called the E65. I'm gonna do one pump first. I'm gonna use the brush first because I'm really intrigued about this. This foundation is 28 mils and it retails for £18 or $20, which is super affordable, I personally think like yes if you can get a good foundation for 20 bucks hello oh that's a good color match oh wow that literally just blended right into the skin it's definitely quite a matte formula but it doesn't look drying so this foundation it says that it's got skincare infused there's no spf in it but it does say that it contains hyaluronic acid to boost moisture levels it's definitely blurring out my pores as well you know some foundations it can really accentuate your pores and make you look like you've got massive pillars in your face this actually does smooth everything out this foundation is nice nice do you know what? It really reminds me of the misguided foundation that I showed you guys in a previous video, but a more matte version of that. Okay, I'm gonna wait 
for a second and see if this oxidizes but first impressions really nice also the brush is lovely because it's quite wide so i feel like i can get into the nooks and crannies of my face especially like near my nose because the brush is more narrow i can really get into the corner of my nose okay so i just laid up the foundation i do think it is oxidizing a little bit it's not so dramatic where i feel like oh my god i turned orange but it definitely has gone a little bit darker a little bit more yellow let me know if you guys see that on camera i have to say that this foundation really reminds me of the shiseido synchro skin foundation the fact that this is only 20 dollars and the shiseido one is 40 dollars i think half price and it gives me literally like the same finish the same matte flawless probably looks great in photos type of finish i'm here for it oh my god also i totally forgot to mention that this is available in 40 shades which is an amazing start i feel like morphe will probably only expand that as well so i love the fact that they're going in with a bang also something that's really really cool is the photographer of this campaign is vanessa myricks this is her here she's an incredible makeup artist and photographer and i love the fact that she is a woman of color taking the lead for this campaign and i love the fact that they use a woman of color on the front to represent this foundation because it's so nice when you see like this nice gradient so that makeup can fit any skin tone you know okay so we're gonna finish my face i've just done one more pump i'm gonna go in with a sponge this time the sponge is like super bouncy mm. so different when you go from a sponge to a brush it's such a different technique one is definitely like going back and forth one is just dabbing like this dab 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 <laughs> Was that a doubt? I have no idea. Like, this one is so big, it's so hard to get into the nooks and crannies. It definitely wasn't as easy as the brush. But if you want to do your foundation quickly, then this sponge will be amazing because it's literally doing my whole cheek in two dabs. So I waited about 20 minutes to see the full oxidization. I feel like this is the colour of my skin tone now. It actually isn't that bad. I do have to say something that's really, really cool about this foundation is that I'm not getting excessive cracking on my smile lines and here especially. Normally whenever I go for like a matte foundation like the Huda Beauty one I get major like cracks along this bit of my nose and then also my smile lines as well I honestly do think that this foundation is a really good dupe for the Synchro Skin Foundation from Shiseido which can you guys see how much I used of it it's literally like half finished now so the fact that I've used this nearly all up is like wow you know so this is gonna be a new addition to the makeup table okay it isn't just going in the jaw it's staying on the table I love the fact that it's oil free as well and it has some skincare infused in it sometimes i feel like whenever i'm wearing full heavy cakey foundation especially when it's a matte foundation i feel like oh it's clogging up my skin my skin's gonna be so dry and crusty after i take this off the fact that this has like skincare infused in there it's also oil free it makes me feel like it's not clogging up my pores i don't know it just makes me feel better about wearing it is that just me is that just placebo is that just propaganda a lot Okay, so I'm just going to quickly put on some concealer just to see how this foundation blends in. I feel like it's been a while since I used this concealer and it's all like bubbled up. It's all like separated. Should I still use this? I don't know, it smells a bit funny. YOLO! I've actually seen so many new TikTok hacks, so let me know. Do you guys want me to do a tweed test TikTok edition where I try out more TikTok makeup hacks and hair hacks? Let me know if you guys want to see that because I could definitely feel that for you guys because I've been saving so many on my phone to test out. So let me know, should I film that for a video? A tweed test? TikTok edition! Yes! I'm going to pop on some contour with the Morphe contouring stick. This is in the shade 15. Oh, this is a very shadowy contour. It's definitely not no bronzing contour. Wow, it's definitely very grey, Jesus Christ. I feel like I might need to warm that up with another shade. I'm going to go in my trusty dandy Clinique chubby stick. I wish they'd done more shades in this. I feel like they need to go a little bit darker. But it's such a nice creamy formula. I've been finding my blushes the quickest to blend away recently. So I'm using the Nude Sticks matte all over blush colour in the shade Nude Peach. I'm gonna put it a little bit high on my cheekbones. I feel like I'm a painting. Colour me by numbers, you know, that type of thing. <laughs> Sometimes I notice that when I put on contour and my concealer, by the time I blend out the contour, the foundation underneath has moved. So let's see if it blends in nice and smoothly. This is also the first time I've tried that contour stick, so I have no idea if it's gonna make me look muddy. Oh, it actually blended out really nicely. Hello. I love blusher so much. I know some people don't like blusher, but I feel like it just brings a bit of colour to the skin, you know? It looks like you've been outside playing in the snow. The contour isn't moving, which is great. I feel like my coverage is not blending away, which is awesome. Oh my god, this colour for underneath the chin is amazing. It literally looks like a shadow. So it really gives you that jawline. You guys know what I mean about the, you know, the jawline is 
feel like I haven't used a beauty blender in so long, especially the original pink colour. It feels harder than I remember it. Okay, so everything is blended out now. I definitely feel like the contour with the blush has given my skin a bit more glow. The foundation itself was quite matte, but I feel like the products that I used on top was quite creamy, so it makes my skin look more glowy. I want to show you guys a proper review of how I would actually wear this foundation in like a normal world. So I'm just going to powder everything lightly. Okay, so I'm going to go finish off the rest of my face off camera and then I'm going to come back with the final thoughts. Okay guys, so this is the full beat face. Hi! How? How you doing? This highlighter, oh my god, is beaming for the gods. It's actually from Vive. Jamie actually sent me a couple things from her makeup line, which I'm so, so proud of her. So if you guys are looking for a new cute highlighter, this one is gorgeous. I had a vision in my head that I really wanted to film like a green cut crease, which this look will be on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see how crazy this look. Also, I know I'll get so many questions about what contacts I'm wearing. And these are so cute. I've never tried this shade before. It's called Shameless Hazel from Desio. They're so nice. They look like a green, like an olive, like a hazel. I love it. Whenever I wear contacts, I'm like, yes, look into my eyes, bitch. Three second eye contact, you know. I'll look them in the eye. I know I could get them to forgive us. I don't know. I'm telling you. <laughs> I have to say that when I was doing my eyeshadow, I kept staring at my skin and I was like, wow, this foundation is not breaking up. It's not giving me major smile lines. The blusher, the contour, everything just merged so seamlessly. I love the colour of this as well. I feel like it blends really, really well into my neck. Props to Morphe for that because it is so hard trying to find an affordable foundation and also a good colour match that has like an olive undertone. I'm honestly so, so happy with this foundation. There's not anything that I would even say that's like, oh, I wish it was more like this. I honestly feel like this is such a good dupe. If you you have tried Shiseido Synchro Skin, the matte version. I haven't tried the new luminous one, but the matte version, that's what I used to wear all the time. That's what I bought on holiday with me. I knew that foundation inside and out. Every time I put it on, I know my skin will stay intact. It looks flawless in photos. It stays quite matte. It doesn't go overly shiny. And even when it wears away, it wears away nicely. And I feel like this is literally the perfect dupe. I feel like this foundation is the most similar to that. This foundation is £40. This foundation for Morphe is only £18. Pounds. And it's so so similar to the Shiseido foundation. I feel like this foundation is going to be perfect for like my everyday foundation that I don't mind wasting. I feel like everyone has this in their life, even with a perfume, a foundation, a lipstick. There's some that you wear every single day because they're a bit more cheaper and affordable, but then there's some that you save for like nights out and you know you want to make that bad boy last longer because you don't want to top it up again. I feel like that is what my Shiseido one is. I feel like I only use this when it's like a special occasion. I need to know what my foundation looks like that day. I need it to look amazing photos, and that's what my Shiseido one does for me i'm so happy that you're able to get this in 40 shades for only 18 pounds and i do have an affiliate code with morphe i've had it for a while now so if you guys are ever purchasing anything from the morphe website or in store please use the discount code twee it really really helps me out as well but obviously my code doesn't affect the faults on this foundation if it was a rubbish foundation i'll tell you guys also i have to really recommend you guys this lip liner i haven't worn it in a while but it's sweet tea from morphe and it is the perfect shade. It reminds me of like stripped down, but a little bit deeper, mixed with a bit of cork in there, but not as deep as cork. It's so, so good. I think it's only £4.50 as well. So grab the lip liner if you're gonna grab the foundation because I highly recommend it. I also wanna touch on these two tools, which was included in the Morphe PR box. These two tools were launched at the same time as this foundation. So I feel like it's meant to kind of go together as like a little bundle. You can actually get these two applicators in a perfect pair. And that is for $18 or 18 18 pounds I don't know why it's not like 15 pounds but you know it's the same price for some reason but if you want to purchase the sponge by itself it's 10 dollars or also 10 pounds and then the wide angle brush is 16 dollars or 17 pounds so pick your poison I do like the sponge but I do think it's a bit big I personally like a bit more control with my sponges I probably wouldn't use this as like my everyday sponge only when I'm in like a rush or if you like to contour highlight or bake your nose this is like a really really good angle to get right up in there but I just find it's really hard to get right underneath my eyes and around my nostrils with such a big sponge but I actually really recommend this brush this really reminds me of my smash box brush that I use all the time because it's kind of flat and it has like an angle to it so even with like contour this would be so good for foundation applications so if you use a lot of cream products I would definitely recommend this brush right here I'm going to leave the links to all the products down below in the description so I'm going to go off now for a few hours I'm going to go get some food clean up the room and also film a tweet talks on my IG 
so make sure you follow me on my instagram if you guys haven't already i'm going to check in with you guys in a few hours so you guys can see how this foundation is wearing but it's off to a good start okay you guys it is nearly 12 in the morning my makeup has been on for a good seven or eight hours now oh my god i feel expired girl i feel like i've been doing so much talking my jaw is aching i wanted to check in with you guys on the foundation i don't know if you guys see but my nose is a little bit shiny here but you know what it isn't as oily as what I thought it would be. Normally, my oily ass will be like a grease ball by now, especially when I feel so tired like this. Normally, my makeup looks tired, but I actually think it looks really, really good. My forehead is a little bit shiny, but it doesn't feel oily to the touch, but it definitely does have a little bit of dew going on, you know? Also around my nose here, and also here on my laugh lines, they're not cracking. They are settling a little bit, but not as much as the Huda Beauty one, that's for sure. I took so many photos with flash photography, it looked amazing. The colour match is actually insane. So if you are like a olive skin tone, I definitely recommend number 16. I feel like with this vlogging camera, you can actually see my skin a lot better sometimes i feel like with my big canon camera the lights kind of really wash it out but this is literally what my skin looks like i feel like my pores look really really small normally by now especially when i'm shiny these kind of areas will kind of show a little bit of my pores but i still feel really really smooth yes to morphe make sure you use my discount code if you guys want a bit of money off it's just twee t-h-u-y please let me know what other videos you guys want me to to film if there's any other tweed test videos you guys want to see please let me know i have literally a whole box of brand new makeup there so let me know if there's anything new on the market that you guys want me to test out i'll definitely do that in another tweed test video thank you guys so much for watching this one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye we are winning winning chicka dinning <laughs> chicka dinning what's a chicka dinning that is not correct Toes look crazy today my hair looks so crazy right now especially because i have no makeup on but once i have makeup on i feel like a bad bitch you know okay let me just clip this bonnet out of the way and this side too hello there <laughs> i look like i'm a part of the adam family i literally look like crusty the clown from the simpsons like what is this hair what is this hair seriously and i'm actually filming like this okay oh my god doesn't shayla look amazing why does it keep going out of fucking focus you slag okay so i think my face my fader for the fold. My chain don't wanna I tried to make it into a song, but that definitely was not a song. Ah! Just dropping everything. Got butter fingers today. Just my life going downhill. Not to worry, guys. Let me look at a mirror close up. <gasps> Clean that mirror off, you know. Oh my god, I literally look like a crazy clown right now. Hello. I can hear Gwang lurking. Are you in here? I'm hungry. Nope. Is your mic plugged in? Yep, the mic is all plugged in because I am not refilming this. I filmed a whole video talking about all the brands that fell off the radar and I think that's God's way of telling me, bitch, you can't upload this video because you're going to get cancelled because I spilled all the tea in that video and I'm not going to refilm it because I think this is a sign that maybe I shouldn't do that video. It might be too controversial. I don't think YouTube's ready for the truth yet. So I ended up scrapping that video just using it as an IG video, but I was so annoyed because I was filming for four hours. I was getting into all the tea, telling you guys my experiences with the brand and all that kind of stuff and the mic wasn't plugged in. Yeah, that's how last week went for me. Okay.